One of the primary benefits of owning a Chromebook is the fact that you get regular updates directly from Google, and it doesn't matter who makes your Chromebook, you get the same version of Chrome OS as everybody else, assuming your device is still getting regular updates. The problem with that is, as we've gotten on in years with Chrome OS, there are more and more manufacturers making more and more different models of Chromebooks, and though we're all on the same version of Chrome OS, it gets harder and harder to make sure that that single version of the operating system comes out and doesn't have bugs that affect one or two devices. And when that happens, there needs to be a way that you can go back and fix the problem for a temporary measure while Google works out whatever it is that's affecting your particular Chromebook. So we wanna step you through the process of actually reverting your Chromebook back to an older version of the operating system in the event that you've updated and you're having some issue. Okay, so this process is relatively simple. You're gonna go into your Chromebooks settings. And then the quickest way to get to your power wash is just to search it. So search power wash, you'll see it pop up right here. Click your reset button. It's gonna ask you if that's what you wanna do. That is what you wanna do. Because what we're gonna do first is actually get this thing completely factory reset. And then once it is factory reset, we're going to do a key combo at that screen that's gonna actually allow it to then revert. Uh, so so we gotta kinda of clean it out first. So this is the first time you're gonna see the power wash screen. If we try to do this shift control alt R here, it doesn't do anything. So you actually have to be back to factory settings before we can actually do the revert. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the full power wash. It's gonna end up looking exactly like it did when you took it out of the box. You'll see power wash in progress. This takes no more than just a few seconds. Okay, now that it's come back up, if you see, it looks just like when you got your Chromebook out of the box, we have power washed. This thing is back to factory settings. Now resist the temptation to click let's go and sign in because we really haven't done anything to fix the issue just yet. So what you're gonna need to do from here is hit Control Shift Alt, so these three keys in the bottom and R. You're gonna see the power wash screen come up again and it's the same screen that you saw before. If we click power wash here, we're not gonna accomplish anything new. That's the same thing. So hit Control Shift Alt R again, and now we're gonna see power wash and revert. This is what we want to do because this is gonna cause it to go back to the older version of Chrome OS. And as you hit that, it says confirm that you want to return to a previous version. We're gonna hit continue, and it's gonna take just a few seconds and it will boot back up and be in the older version of Chrome OS. And as you can see, as it's doing this, power wash in progress, the same, same message we saw when we were power washing before, because it is power washing, but it's power washing and reverting back. All right, and now we are back up. Now you are free to go ahead and log in and you know get your stuff synced back up and use this device as you normally would until Google issues an update. Again, we don't know exactly how long uh, this reversion state will last on this Chromebook, but from what we can tell, uh, it, it lasts for a little while. So hopefully it's gonna last long enough that you don't have to worry about not restarting your Chromebook. But what I would highly recommend is just keeping an eye on your notifications, keeping an eye on your settings, looking at your about screen and your settings to see what version of Chrome OS you're on and to see if an update has come through. And if it's come through and you haven't heard anything about a fix to your problem, I just wouldn't take that update, which means you can't restart your Chromebook. So make sure it stays on the charger and you're not powering it off or else you're gonna have to kind of go through through this process again. But guys, this is a temporary fix for issues as they crop up with Chromebooks and new updates. This is not a permanent fix. This is just something hopefully to get you through and, and get you through to the point where Google has fixed the problem in the correct way so you can take the update and move on with your life. But hopefully this helps. If it did, give us a thumbs up, go down there and hit the subscribe button. Make sure and hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. And oh, by the way, click that join button if you'd like to see all the cool stuff our members get like custom emojis and behind the scenes footage. But until next time, we'll see you.